Hey everyone, so I thought it would be fun to do a sewing tag. I saw this on Sewing for Christ's channel, and um, so I just wanted to do it today. And I'll have the questions written below this video, so anyone who wants to do this tag can, and then just um, put your video as a video response to this one, and it'll be a lot of fun. So the first question is, how old were you when you first started sewing? And um, I really can't remember, but I know that I got a toy sewing machine somewhere around the time when I was like seven or eight. Um, it actually did sew. It had a real needle, and um, it probably sewed better than the first official sewing machine that I ever got, but that's beside the point. Um, and then most people start hand sewing first before they machine sew, but I really didn't do much hand sewing back then. Um, but I would take the scraps that my mom would have for making my clothes and just like put it through the sewing machine and sew like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it was pretty much covered with stitching and then I would get a new piece of fabric and do it again. So I didn't actually like make anything back then. What was your first sewing machine? Um, well, it was the toy one. Um, but after that I got a So Cute sewing machine and um, it didn't even backstitch, so it went forward, and that's it, and that's what I did my first project on, and then it pretty much fell apart because it wasn't backstitched, so, you know. Um, what was your first project? My first project was a, my first real project was a quilt that is a paper piece string quilt, which I actually have a tutorial on that. And um, my mom was making a log cabin quilt at the time and she was using thrifted plaid shirts for material um, because you can get a lot of really cool prints by doing that and it's a lot cheaper. And so my paper piece string quilt was also made using the same plaid shirts. Like I would take the um, odds and ends and stuff that she couldn't use for her pieces. So I have yet to finish that quilt. It is... Um, backed, quilted, and needs to be bound. So that's all that's left is the binding and I have not done that. What was your hardest project? My hardest project at the time was probably the only project I made in costuming. Um, I took a half a semester of costuming, that's all the sewing training that I have, and um, I was the most advanced person in the class and so the only thing I actually learned in that class really and truly was some hand stitching techniques um, and then our final for the class was to make something using a pattern and we had to um, adjust the pattern in some way so I found a pattern from like the late 50s or early 60s I don't have the pattern. I borrowed the pattern from the costume shop and I wish I had like written down what it was, like the number and everything. But I borrowed it and I adjusted it to my size and I also shortened the length and at the time it was so hard because vintage patterns are different than modern day patterns in the sense that um, more people knew more technical terms back then and so it was not dumbed down in any way shape or form so it was really difficult and I had to ask my mom to explain some things for me while I was working on it um, but the sense of accomplishment that I had when I finished it was so amazing and from then on I was like I can do this if I decide I want to sew anything I can do it because I made that pattern all on my own, nobody helped me with any actual sewing, and so it was really challenging at the time, but it was such a boost of confidence that I am so, so, so excited that I picked that pattern because I had almost, like, copped out and done an easier pattern, and I'm so glad that, um some people talked me into doing that one. What store do you buy most of your sewing supplies from? I buy things at the thrift stores, I buy things at the fabric stores that I have no idea what they're called because they're just local and they just have signs that say like fabric sale. Um, but if I need like actual supplies, supplies like, um, you know, 
zippers or whatever, um, then usually Hobby Lobby because Joann's is too far to drive for without buying several things. So, what is one sewing related item you collect? Sewing machines. I have 10 or 11 of them, I believe. Um, 12 something? I don't know. Not all run, obviously. Most are vintage. Um, it kind of happened. I came across my first vintage machine at a yard sale. It was in the cabinet. It was beautiful. And it was $5. So I bought it. And then I came across one at a thrift store. And it was like $4.50. So I bought it. And then I came across another one that was like $7. So I bought it. And the most I've actually ever paid for a vintage sewing machine is $15. Yeah. So I pretty much rock at finding good deals on sewing machines and I've determined not to buy any more because I don't have space. And most of them reside at my mom's house, my mom and dad's house. So, um, What is your favorite sewing items? I don't know. I would probably my sewing machines because I love them and I use them so much that they are like my other arm. Uh, who is your favorite sewing YouTuber? Oh goodness, that would, there's a toss up. Well, most of the Threadbanger people, my goodness, um, Karen, Meg, Crafty Gemini, uh, all of them, they're so, they're so amazing and they have so many creative ideas that I'm like, I don't even know where they got that from, but it's amazing. And um, I love watching them and seeing their different style, but then at the same time, I can still draw inspiration from it. Um, and it's just really cool. Would you rather get a bucket full of fabric or a sewing machine? I don't really need either at the moment, but I would rather have fabric because I have plenty of working sewing machines and so if it was different fabric than what I have right now, I would totally take the fabric. If you could meet only one seamstress in the world, who would it be? Hmm. I didn't think that one through before. I don't know. Maybe someone from like Project Runway. Um, I'd have, to, I can't think of like my favorite off the top of my head, but probably be someone like from Project Runway. Um, just because, I don't know, they're really cool. Does sewing run in your family? Um, yes. My mother made most of my clothes when I was a kid. My grandmother, my mom's mom, made a lot of stuff when my mom was younger. Um, so yeah, I don't know really further back than that, but I'm assuming just in the day and age that um, they did. So yes, sewing and crafting is definitely in my genes. Um, yeah, and so that is the sewing tag. Sorry if I rambled on on some of it. Um, if, Like I said earlier, if you want to do the tag, feel free and post a video response to this video or to um, Sewing for Christ's video. And yeah, I will have a tutorial on Thursday. This was just a fun little extra. So I will see everyone later. Bye.